Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about working with our VCM editor software. So the editor software is going to be what we open up and we read and write our files to the PCM. It's going to be where we make our editing changes. We want to go through and get an idea of what we can expect using the VCM editor software and some of the features and functions of the software. So I'm going to be covering that in the video so we have a general overview before we begin this training course so you're a little bit more familiar with it and more comfortable with it using the software and navigating. So without further wait, let's jump into the video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're going to be taking a look at using our VCM editor software a little bit more in depth so we can get familiar and comfortable with all the features and functions that it has to offer. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up an actual file in our VCM editor here so we can take a look at things. So I'm going to go to open file, I'm going to move into my folder under my documents, HP tuners, logs and tunes, and samples. These are going to be a bunch of sample files that we have available to us. If we look through the list, we're going to be looking for our specific PCM types. We can find that we have an E40, an E67 and an E38. I'm going to go here and just select my Caddy CTSV E67, click open, and now the file has been opened up in our software. So we're going to find here, um, now that the file has been opened, let's take a look at some of the things up top here. Then we'll move into the file and what some of these tabs are going to be doing and what we can expect inside of them. So we've explored here, file, we can go to open or we can close this particular file. We can save which would save it over top of this naming right here, 2009 Cadillac CTSV E67. I don't suggest that you save right over top of a file name unless you're sure that you want to save over top of it. So in this example, this is going to be our base file of our stock file for this car. If I make editing changes, I would use the save as, rename it as a different name, and don't over save over top of the original. That's pretty important keep that in the back of your mind so you don't go ahead and again make changes and you now you don't have the original version you have to go into the repository on HP Tuner's website and go download another stock equivalent file it's just going to make more work for yourself so we have those functions under file here we can see that we can use those under edit we can find a whole bunch of things that we can work with here so we can see calibration details we jump into tune overview this is going to tell us some details about this so the VIN number for the car the year make model and the engine that we're going to find up top here, the creation date, we can see this was created on 12-5-2013 uh, in the timestamp here. Now in the notes section, this is going to be where you can add some notes to tag along with this file. So if the vehicle has modifications done, if it has long tube headers or particular cam or swap cylinder heads or bigger blower, bigger injectors, whatever the mods are, you can add those in the notes here. So if you're opening up the file and you're unsure of maybe what's been done modification wise, we're able to see it front and center right into the notes section. Now we can look here under controllers and it's going to be telling us a couple more details about this. It's going to be showing us that the hardware is an E67 PCM and the TCM is going to be a T43. We can also see the operating system ID as well as the operating system ID, ID for the TCM side of things. So that's going to be very useful. And the remote tuning right here is not going to be something we're going to cover. We don't have to worry about that. But let's jump right back in here to edit. We can see view change history logs. This is going to be showing 